At one time, in a moment of passion, and have you ever said something and God stops you in just a second and lets you know that's just emotion? I was thinking, and I said out loud, Oh, I just, the one thing I'm going to ask of God when I step over into glory is just once, let me stand up and preach Jesus Christ as He ought to be preached because I've never preached Him as He ought to be preached. And right then, I didn't hear a voice, but I knew exactly, Son, even then, in all your glory, you will not preach Jesus as He ought to be preached. As a matter of fact, you want to know what heaven's all about and what it's like? I'll tell you. I'll tell you what heaven is about. I'll tell you everything it's about right now in just a few short sentences. What will you be doing in heaven? You'll be doing in heaven exactly what you started on the day of your conversion is what you'll be doing in heaven. Now, what do I mean? Do you remember in John 17.3, what's eternal life? Just longevity? Swinging on gates of pearl and walking down streets of gold? No, you may know Him. This is what you'll be doing. Let's say that eternity has days and nights. Okay, it doesn't, but let's just use that for an illustration. Before your conversion, you're just walking along blind to the glories of Christ. Anything you saw of Jesus Christ, you hated because He's holy and you were wicked. But on the day of your conversion, God regenerated your heart, gave you a heart. And you saw Jesus. And it enraptured your heart and led you to worship. And that's what I've been doing and hopefully you've been doing if you're a Christian for the last how many years you've been a Christian. As I walk along this Christian path, it's just more and more glimpses of the glory of Jesus Christ, which more and more enraptures my heart and leads me to worship Him. What will heaven be? The same thing, except greater. Someone asked me, when I get to heaven, will I know everything? I said, you'll know a lot, but you won't know everything. You see, here's the thing. You're always going to be a finite creature, but you're always going to be chasing after an infinite God of infinite glory. And you know why heaven's not going to get boring? You get streets of gold, gates of pearl, swing on them 15 days, that'll be enough. The reason heaven is not going to be boring is because in the morning, you're going to wake up and you, when you first walk over into heaven, you are going to see a vision of Jesus Christ that you have never seen before. It is going to lead you to such ecstasy that if your heart was not strengthened, it would kill you. And you're going to fall on your face and worship Him. And then you're going to go to bed. Remember, this is I'm making that part up. And then you're going to get up the next morning and you're going to get a new and a greater revelation of Jesus Christ that is so great, it's going to make the one you saw yesterday seem quite small. It is going to enrapture your heart to such a degree you would have to be strengthened or it would kill you. And you're going to spend all day worshiping in such ecstasy it cannot be described. And then you go to bed. And then you wake up the next morning and another. And you are going to spend the rest of your life chasing down the glories, the infinite glories of God. And that's why eternity's got to last a long time. But here's my admonition to you, Christian. Why start then? I've had some wonderful experiences in my life. Wonderful experiences. Things that would just get your adrenaline flowing, your emotions running. I have seen beauty. I have seen things. But I want to tell you something. Better is one day in His courts than thousands elsewhere. If you have ever come into the presence of God, if you have ever come tasted of the Lord, you would have to acknowledge that all the other experiences you have had, all of them combined, cannot even come close to that one glimpse of Christ on this side. Follow hard after Him. Follow hard after Him. Some of you young people, you might, God may be working in your life, maybe you're thinking about the ministry. Don't worry about the ministry. I stopped having a ministry a long time ago. I don't want to have a ministry. I want to have a life. And I want ministry to flow out of that. Don't make it your goal to be useful to God. Make it your goal to chase hard after Christ. 